What do you see here? A soccer ball? I'll show you how to see it in a new way. This is what's called a Goldberg polyhedron. In the 1930s, the mathematician Michael Goldberg came up with a family of beautifully symmetrical forms made of pentagons and hexagons meeting three at each vertex. The number of hexagons varies, but a theorem tells us there must be exactly 12 pentagons. So the first thing to look for are these pentagons. Then we can characterize which Goldberg polyhedron this is by taking a kind of knight's move from any pentagon to its nearest neighbors. On this one, we go one, two, three steps out from the pentagon, then make a slight right and go one more step to land on another pentagon. So we call this the 3-1 Goldberg polyhedron. This is the 2-1 Goldberg polyhedron because a pentagon to pentagon path goes two steps out then turns one to the side. The same type of path goes from any pentagon to its nearest neighbors. In a mirror image, we take a right turn instead of a left turn. We can make them arbitrarily complex. These tiny examples illustrate the 8-3 Goldberg polyhedron. You have to look pretty carefully to find a pentagon and then count a knight's move that goes 8 and then 3 to land on the nearest pentagon neighbor. Choose two numbers, say 2-1, and make a line on triangular graph paper from one vertex to another that is out 2 and over 1. Then copy that motion, but rotate it 120 degrees, and then again rotate it another 120 degrees to make an equilateral triangle. Then take 20 copies of that equilateral triangle and assemble them like an icosahedron, 5 to a vertex. Finally, create what's called the dual by connecting the centers of adjacent triangles. This makes hexagons in most places, but pentagons for just the 12 vertices of the icosahedron. You can imagine inflating it slightly to make it more spherical. Who would think that designs which were first presented 80 years ago by a mathematician working on what's called the isoparametric problem would end up being useful decades later in real-life applications like geodesic domes, pave diamond jewelry, carbon nanostructures, and nuclear particle detectors. It's wonderful how abstract mathematics often finds unexpected applications. Here's a spherical jigsaw puzzle I made. It comes apart into pieces, and you have to figure out how to snap them together. When you join enough to find a pentagon-to-pentagon -pentagon path, you discover it's the 5-3 Goldberg polyhedron, which guides you to complete it into a sphere. And I've always been impressed by these ivory balls of nested spheres, which go back to the 1500s. A craftsman starts with the solid ball and drills holes into the center, then cuts layers apart from each other on a lathe. All the layers have the same pattern of holes, but the traditional patterns aren't Goldberg polyhedra. So I designed this one with 10 Goldberg layers. Each layer has a different pattern of holes, so it can't be made in the traditional drilling manner. I 3D printed it, and it's just amazing that all 10 layers can turn independently. What's also cool is that I can blow compressed air into it and get the inside spinning really fast. Here's another Goldberg variation. I use the pattern of faces from the 7-4 Goldberg polyhedron to make linked loops, like chainmail. But I didn't have to assemble anything. It's 3D printed all at once, just like you see it. There are over 3,000 links here. Do you see one of the 12 Pentagon ones? Did you ever learn a new word and then suddenly start seeing it again and again? Math can be like that also. Once you understand a mathematical pattern, it becomes part of you, and you may find it anywhere. Like this 1-1 one, one Goldberg polyhedron. And once you learn to see in this way, you'll never confuse this 2-0 Goldberg polyhedron with a soccer ball. I'm drawn to forms which have a coherent underlying structure. So when I was designing this sculpture, it seemed natural to me to make the inner green skeleton a Goldberg polyhedron. Now that you're familiar with them, can you tell which one it is? It wouldn't be surprising if now you start to see Goldberg polyhedra everywhere.